In today's video, we are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to make an alligator stuffed animal, but we're going to be adding some elements to that stuffed animal to make it a sensory friendly stuffy. I'm really excited to show you this process. Hi, my name's Mary with Sewing for Madison. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time that we're meeting, I absolutely love crafting. I love showing people how easy and fun it can be. Let's head over to my work table and I'll show you what elements that we're gonna be adding to this stuffed animal today. Okay, here are the materials that we are gonna use for today's project. We have a really soft minky, for the main part of the alligator, then some applique pieces. Here is our reversible sequins fabric. It's green on the outside and then silver on the other side. We're gonna use this crinkle fabric that makes a really cool noise. And then we have weighted poly beads. With this project today, we are going to be making an 8x12 stuffy. It is not going to be a traditional step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm only going to be showing you the parts where we add those special appliques. So the reverse sequins fabric, the crinkle fabric, and the poly beads. Let's get started. Okay, so here is some of the fun part. We are gonna attach our first element. So this is the belly of our alligator and we are gonna put some sequin fabric here. So here is our reversible sequin and I'm gonna tape this down. I also uh, switched out my needle in my embroidery machine from my 1175 to my 1490 because this is thick and it's gonna need an extra heavy duty needle for this next process. Okay, so I have that down. You wanna make sure that your sequins are all going down for this step and then put your water soluble stabilizer on top of that and tape or pin that down. One thing to also note when working with the sequins fabric, you want to slow your machine down as slow as possible. My machine goes to 350 stitches per minute, so that is what I've set it at. And I've also reduced my tension um, because it needs to go over all of those sequins. Okay, my next step is going to be re to remove the water soluble stabilizer and then use my applique scissors to cut along this line here. After 
after you have cut your applique out, go ahead and grab another sheet of water soluble stabilizer and tape that down. The next step is going to be to do the satin stitching around this. Make sure that all your sequins are pointing in a down direction before you go ahead and stitch. Okay, so again, since we're still working with the sequins, we want to make sure that we have the 1490 needle in and that we reduce our tension and reduce our speed. Okay, so we have our finished alligator done and it turned out really super cute. Um, and now we're gonna add some of those fun elements that I talked about, okay? So we are gonna add this crinkle fabric. Um, we are gonna add uh, poly beads. And I also decided uh, to add um, a squeaker. Um, that I found so uh, we're gonna add all of those elements to this so there's a couple things to stuff the alligators um, I guess top jaw okay the arms and legs the tail the feet the body this is uh, where we stuff so um, what I'm going to start out doing is I always do the body first Um, I have it about stuffed to about right here where my thumbs are. I'm going to fill in with some poly beads. Um, you can pour directly from a container or use a funnel. I'm going to try not to make a mess, but no guarantees. And just put however many poly beads that you want in there. I'm going to add some stuffing in. You want it to be a good mix of poly beads and stuffing if you're putting it into a large space. Okay, that is pretty good. Now I'm just gonna finish the stuffing in this section.
Okay, so um, since I have poly beads in the body section and I don't want them all to fall out, I'm going to go ahead and hand sew up this seam and then I will uh, continue with the rest of the elements. Okay, so I got the legs and the body and the arms stuffed. We're going to do the nose and the tail. So in the nose here, that's where I've decided to put um, the crinkle fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the nose to this part here. Then I'm going to insert the uh, crinkle fabric and then stuff around it. Here is my stuffing hole. It's a pretty small opening, about the size of my thumb. So it's gonna take a little bit of work to get it up there. Okay, I have it stuffed to about right there. Now I am going to insert this uh, crinkle fabric. Again, um, this is a crinkle material for makers. I'm gonna put a link in the description for everything that we use today. And there's no rhyme or reason to this fabric, um, this crinkle fabric. You just stuff it in however you want. Now that it's in there, I'm just unfolding it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my remaining stuffing. There we go, that is all done. You can hear the fabric in there. I'm gonna sew that up in a minute. And we're gonna put the squeaker inside the tail. So I am going to stuff the tail till about there, then insert the squeaker, and then I'm gonna fill the rest of the tail up. Oh, actually I gotta do it backwards because the hole's right here. So I'm gonna <laughs> fill, squeaker, fill. Okay, great. We have those two areas filled. I'm gonna go ahead and sew those up. Wow, what a fun project. So here is our completed alligator. Um, this design happens to be from Ohana Applique Designs, and this size is the eight by 12. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description. Let's go over all of those special details that we added to this design. So first we started with that sequins applique on the belly. If you didn't want to do that, you could just do a, a regular applique fabric. It's green this way and silver the other way. 
Then we added that crinkle fabric to the nose. And then I also threw in a squeaker into the tail. Also, um, we added those weighted poly beads to give it um, some good weight. So all absolutely terrific details that you can add to just about any stuffy to make it unique and special. I hope that you like this video. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button, you subscribe to my channel, and until next time, Happy crafting.